The Big Show on Hauraki. Thanks to Night and Day. For the best milkshakes, thick shakes and super thick shakes. Don't fight it. It's time to go up a size. This is the biggest. The biggest. The biggest. This is the biggest. Our biggest show. The Hauraki Big Show. With Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Oh, good day, you mad bastards. Great to have your company this Tuesday afternoon, the 12th of March, 2024. And you, my friends, are listening to The Big Show, brought to you by night. And... and day. And Mogi, you're stelling him. He's back on board. How's life? You're going pretty grousy, you mad dog. You sick son of a bee. You had a pretty... Uh, Pretty amazing day yesterday, if I'm honest. I guess we'll get to that at some point later on in the show, but it's always good to be back in the bosom of the big show. Yeah, and it's good uh, having you suckling at my teat again, mate. Yeah, mate. You Thanks, know what I'm mate. saying? It always makes me feel good. Keezy, you mad bastard. How's life? Yeah, it was good until the whole bosom teat sucking situation happened. You don't like that? Nah. You hate that? Just jealous of it. It's yeah. just a it's just a loving, nurturing thing that Mogi and I do for each other, Keith. Right, okay. Uh, Nothing has, wrong with that, brother. He has, nah. has a little suckle, I stroke his, his head and right. de- puts him in a nice place. How are you going, Keezy? Uh, I'm God, a... you're looking good today, man. Have you, you are, man. really looking good, brother. Thank you. I th- Am I actually? Yeah, man, you're looking really good. Thank you, just because everyone said I had weird hair today. Oh, you got oh, weird hair. Oh, yeah, I mean, okay. your hair, yeah, yeah. And then... Um, wacky, it's wacky here. And can I just say, didn't quite get the pants either, but... Um, I've got my trackies on. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, i got yeah. trackies on, because it's cold out there, man. It's raining. Have you seen that? Yeah. Crazy. And we had to use a new car park today, Mogi, and old Keezy and I got a little bit lost. Wow. Uh, in the quagmire. Well, I look, so I had to pull over three times whilst finding my way through. It's about a four story car parking unit, new space now. And as I was pulling over to look at this PDF file I was given, I was like, there's no way Jace is going to make it through here and park <laughs> in the right place. And I was correct. Yes. Well, I, I, I found the right place. I just couldn't get out. Now, listen, a big show here. We've got Adam Blair coming in to talk some buck Uh We've got Mogi to talk about the Oscars. Uh, I've been in doing another investigation into phone scammers, so we'll be talking about that as well. Also, I understand some big news, Hoodie J, around your mallet finger. Yes, indeed. Some massive news. And, of course, Sharp is still in the shed. Your chance to win power tools and another chance to get yourself in the draw to join us and Brizzy for Magic Round. Great stuff. But as always, text us on 3483. Sends us a talk back on the uh, iHeartRadio app. Or give us a call on 0800 Radio Hodaki. Sorry, it's just 0800 uh, Hodaki. Hodaki. <laughs> hey, where are you and what are you wearing? Text us. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Jimi Hendrix there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Tuesday afternoon. Great to have your company if you're joining us. Uh, Mogi, I just wanted to address something. Uh, we've got Adam Blair coming in, uh, ex-warrior. Uh, yeah, Talking really. a bit of rugby. League, and uh, I just wanted to make the, all the make sure that all the year was clear uh, regarding him coming up yeah. because you'll be aware of the fact uh, that Adam took over Keezy's role on Sky uh, with the Rugby League show. What was that called the again, Keezy? It's the called Ditch. The Ditch, yeah. And they replaced Keezy with Adam Blair. And I just want to make sure that we're all, well, yeah. you know, on the same page here. We're all feeling okay because I don't want it to be an uncomfortable situation for all of us. Yeah, I mean, I guess the question is how's Keezy... Yeah. Yes. feeling about it because what he's got you know essentially Keezy goes in there he does the first series of, of the show which is rugby league interviews um, you know Maori Pacifica players over in Australia there you did That's a trip right. over to Australia yeah. Keezy I even helped set the show up like creatively creatively you set the yeah. show up you know you, you had a massive awe in the water there around it and uh, you're really helping to steer that waka thank you and, um, and then along comes Adam Blair of course former former uh, warrior for a Kiwi, he's a Bronco, Kiwi, Kiwi a Tiger, captain. Storm. He was Melbourne yeah. Storm. Oh, he's a massive fella too. Premiership winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he comes in and just kicks your ass to the curb. Well, I don't think that's how it happened. Um, my understanding, and just for the record, fellas, I'm pretty professional about this. I mean, you know, Adam is one of our greats of the game. Um, I think he's been he's been honoured by it, the Queen and that for his uh, service to rugby league. The so. issue is I, that I have, Keezy, because you say you're okay with it, uh, but whenever you talk about him, I see your face, right, and it's not okay. Uh, there's a lot of residual anger there and resentment well, okay, and look. simmering rage, if I can put it that way. So I just want to make sure that yeah. that you know you're you're able to hold it together while we have this interview. Well, look, I mean, I work in TV. I know what TV's like, right? If you know executives might go off you, get rid of you. You have what, yeah. you, what you've not played 300 games of first class footy. What do you mean? Okay, you're fired. So I know how that all, all that yeah. works. You know firsthand. I know firsthand how that works. You do. This is a professional situation. He's into talk Warriors. I love the Warriors as well. If yeah. we could put that behind us. 
us, or if it makes you guys, you know, maybe we should address it. He he definitely has all that experience of actually playing the game, Mogi. It makes and, more sense. And as I say, I mean, and this is just my personal view, he pops on the TV. He does. He really but, pops. But the, the thing about it him. is, the thing that I don't like about it there is, you know, Keezy's on the books, isn't he? Sure. I mean, you're his agent. Oh, yes. yeah. Um, oh, it cost me a fortune. Yeah, and so I just think, you know, maybe Blair has got a, a, you know, a case to answer here. Absolutely. I mean, I'm not going to lie down. I don't know if you're going to lie down and take it when, you're, um, when your client's been treated this way, your talent, your oh, paycheck. Yeah, that's me, Jace, your yeah, talent. Yeah, look, um, let me just say things went on behind the scenes that you fellas don't know about right. uh, on that front. Okay. And boy, I really yeah. I well, stuck up for you, Keezy. Well, but I, all I'm this? saying is I get their perspective. I see why they made the call they made. Oh, 100%. And for me, it's been a nice exercise in being like, look, they're the bosses, you know what I mean? They make the decisions. He's clearly played a lot more footy. I have not even played one single game, so I get it. Maybe we chat Warriors, and then after that, we can address that and just smooth things up. Sure. Like, could be a nice, healthy way to deal with things. What do you guys reckon? Yeah, I think that's good, man. Well, it's not going to be smooth, man. Well, it could be ugly. Right. Yeah. And I think you're probably going to feel quite uncomfortable. Well, should we do it off here then? And, no, and, no, and, no. and look, if fists are thrown, I'm not getting involved. I've got a mallet well, no, finger, think... you know what I mean? I mean, if people are starting to throw punches, I'm not getting in between you and Adam Blair. Let no, me put I don't it think that that's going to be the situation. I, you know, I, he's one of my favourite players. I love Adam Blair. Um, well, it'll be fine, Keezy. We'll work it out. We're professionals. So mate. is he next, is he? Yeah, he's next. Oh, cool. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So we all good? Y- yeah. Good stuff, mate. He's filter. Hodaki Big Show podcast. Indeed, the cold there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Tuesday afternoon. Now, there's a lot of rugby league action going on at the moment, fellas, uh, which we're fizzing about, of course, the start of the NRL season. With that in mind, we've got uh, former Warrior and ex league Adam Blair in the studio with us. Adam, you mad bastard. How's life? <laughs> uh, it's awesome. Uh, it's great to be here. Um, yeah, a lot of rugby league going on, and yeah, the wires uh, didn't start too well. They yeah. didn't. Well, we were. We went, we, let's touch on that first because there was huge expectations. The first two games sold out, of course, man. And and just before we even get into it, isn't it awesome to see the stadiums packed like that with just really enthusiastic supporters? I, I guess a bit of a a damp start for all those all those fans. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving the fan support, but I guess they they created that last year. Yes. Um, and then that's where the pressure and, and pressures come on again this year. Is they've turned up in their numbers, and like you said, they they didn't perform to the standard that they wanted to to get that result that they needed. Um, but it's, credit's got to go to the fans. They've turned up in their numbers, even through the trial matches as well. Yeah. What, what about that opening 30, 25 minutes, right? That was some of the best footy I've seen. And as soon as they started, as soon as AFB scored under the post, I was like, we're going to the premiership this year. I actually was texting my mates that, you know, straight away you're on the chat, you got your group chat, and straight away I was like, grand final, get your it's ticket. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's our, our year. year. So By the you... end of the game, I cancelled, I cashed <laughs> the tickets back in. What do you reckon happened there? Because, like, the Warriors are a real streaky team. They need to get that confidence up, get that rhythm going, right? And it just disappeared on us. Yeah, well, it's it was a simple game plan. It looked like it in that first 25 minutes, and if anyone was watching that game, most of us were, it, it was just straight down the middle, using mm. momentum, using your back five to create that momentum and simple tries like Adam Fanua Blake just falling over the line and Luke Metcalf just weaving his magic and using a couple of footwork just to score a try. But they went away from... They tried to play the footy and the brand of footy that they wanted to play last year, uh, but it is round one and you're trying to get those combinations yeah. and you're trying to get their fluency. Yeah. They gave a, couple, a few penalties away, um, errors, those kind of things that hurt them. And if you look at some of the other games, that's where the games are won early in the season. If you can control the ball, uh, complete high and kick to the corners, so you can normally win those early games and it's important to get wins early. Yeah, exactly. And that was, I think, the big thing for me in the game was, you know, compared to last year, the attack was out the gate and it was out the gate from game one. The other night, I think we were made to look quite good because we got out to 12-0, but that was sort of a second-man play, as you say. Mm. Uh, Adam Fanoa Blake falls over the line, an act of brilliance, individual brilliance from Luke Metcalf. Uh, outside of those two things, the attack, it was sort of like that old-school warrior stuff where it's sort of like we're trying to get to the fifth tackle and then just sort of hope something happens. And it was, I don't know, it didn't seem like there was a lot of options Well, well they were looking for answers. Yeah, and that's yeah. what happens sometimes when you there's a bit of pressure put on you. And, you know, the, the starting middles, Tohu Harris and Adam and Mitch Barnett, they smashed up some time on the field. Yeah. They smashed out the metres. And I reckon that's where it hurt them in the back end of the game is they just couldn't keep up with the pace of the Cronulla 
Sharks. They're a, they're a team that just scraps for everything, and they love being in a dogfight, and they just stayed in it most of the game. They got some confidence off a couple of good tries, and then our boys just run out of energy. And like, like I said earlier, they were looking for answers and trying to play that style of football that you'd play 10 rounds in or five yeah. rounds in, and it just mm. didn't work. What? Oh, sorry, Jace. No, oh, no, you go, mate. I should probably go just because... Um, I commentated the game. Um, so, sure, sure. <laughs> uh, one thing you pointed on there, you've got Barnett, AFB, you've got Wade Egan as well. And with uh, Lussick on the bench, they'd take Egan off, give him a spell, which I think is fair enough. But our big boys come off the field and it seemed like we lost all that go forward. Now that Wade Egan's potentially injured as well, like is that something we should be really freaking out about? Because I am. Yeah, I, I really like what Wade Egan um, has done over the last couple of years. Yeah. His, his deception around the ruck um, adds another dimension to opposition when they're trying to defend those big boys. So, you know, when he comes out and shows the ball and he holds up the mark, as it puts pressure on A's and Marcus to be able to make that contact with Adam Fenor Blake and Mitch Barnett. So you lose him mm. and you've seen the big change in the difference yeah. between the ruck speed and how the react, ruck speed's uh, been changing the momentum because he come off, we lose it, he comes back on, we get it for five minutes and yeah, then he does, yeah. a, does an injury and then we're going, oh, we're, like what now? So yeah, no, nothing gets that, um, Lusick because I think he does a good job but mm. he's no Wade Egan and Wade Egan is a big part of the, the Warriors team. Is it time to hit the panic button, man? <laughs> is it, what, is it time to hit the panic no, button? Yeah, let's panic, <laughs> Should man. we freak Come on, out, Adam. man? Because it seems to me like we need to get rid of the coach. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I think a wholesale <laughs> clean go, out, uh, uh, Mogi. A wholesale clean yeah. Yes, man. He's yeah, a shadow yeah. of himself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so is it a coincidence, man, that RTS comes back and we lose? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. I think he's got he's got some answers. Well, uh, you know, and just just talking about that, Adam. You know, after that game, you know, and I watched that game as well. I'm oh, done, yeah. mate. I'm I'm over it. I'm finished. I mean, I'm sick and tired of it. Chucking in the membership. Yeah, that's the I'm, one you didn't I'm have. Handing in my season pass. Now, listen, uh, we'll come back because there's something else we need to address with you uh, regarding oh. our, our colleague uh, Chris Key here and, oh, and, and, yes. think, nah. and, a, and a league show that he used to do that yep. you subsubsequently took over. Yep. Uh, so you got a bit of time on your hands? Uh, yeah, I was walking in and I was feeling a little bit uncomfortable yeah. and awkward when no, I was yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we can yeah. just wrap it up, actually. No, we're, no, 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 we're no. professionals. We'll yep. deal with it, yeah, all right, mate? Yeah, sweet. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Yes, indeed. Def Leppard there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Tuesday afternoon. We've got the legend, uh, rugby league legend, Adam Blair, in the studio with us. And, uh, Adam, it's great. Uh, hopefully we can make this a regular thing because your expertise, obviously, on league are, are sensational, mate. Uh, and and bef- in the last little chat we had we said we needed to address something that happened uh, in Keezy's career that he's never quite recovered from. Uh, you recall well, you, you recall that he used to do a league show called the Ditch, yep, uh, which you subsequently took over. Yep, yeah, yeah, did a bloody good job too, Thank by the you. way, Thank mate. You. If you, oh him, uh, <laughs> if you don't if you don't mind me saying, um, and, and we just wanted to address it because I, I think it's sort of hurt and damaged Keezy in a way that he's never fully acknowledged. <laughs> That's right, yep. and we just wanted we sort of thought that since you were here today to give Keezy an opportunity to confront you. Yep. Wow, it's um, not really. So Keezy, we'll hand it over to you, brother. Oh, <laughs> look, uh, uh, Adam, I mean, look, I don't know if you know this, but um, I'm actually represented by Jace. He's my agent. Okay. So when I lost that gig, I actually lost Jace a lot of money. Um, then we've been having a chat, and Jace kind of reassured me. He's like, hey, look, I'll hit up Adam for you. We'll just clear the air. Um, but I just want to say between you and me, man, we're all good. <laughs> okay. Like, we don't need to take this outside. Sweet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I'm looking at Adam, and that would be a really stupid thing for you to do, actually. <laughs> and as my agent. And as I say, um, you know, it was it was a big opportunity for Keezy. I, I've got to be honest with you, Adam, I'll be up front with you, mate. I was filthy about it. Um, Thanks, Jase. As Thank Keezy you. said, I lost a lot of money on that oh. uh, because I was getting twenty percent of whatever he was earning. You were getting forty. Um, so I, well, y- y- technically, yes, I suppose I was getting forty percent of what he was earning. So I was filthy about it, yep. mate. Just, uh, just on that, did you enjoy it? Because I thought you were sensational. Loved it. Loved the show. Loved what it's about. Um, yeah, it's good. I thought. Eh? I thought he done a good job. Oh, he done a good job previously. I don't think and, you have um, to. I don't think you have yeah, to. Yeah, you just went in a different direction. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah sure, you, see, sure. you wanted to go up, you know, yeah, yeah. and I can understand that because it's important that you get good ratings. And I think when you got someone like Keezy there, it can drag a show down, man. Okay. Um, whereas you got someone that's got your kind of expertise, it only makes sense, and straight away you get eyeballs on it. I mean, <laughs> from my <laughs> point of view, and Keezy and I go way back. Um, well, not I started really. watching the show when you started hosting. Okay, you know, and yeah. so and I thought it was a brilliant show. I you thought you're incredible. 
terrible. Can I just say you on text that front? Can you I text just me? It said it was great. Keezy, please. What? Can I just say, <laughs> like Mogi, I was massively impressed by your presence on air. Um, you know, it, it's a funny thing. I'm a very well-known actor slash comedian, Adam, and the ca- when it comes to the camera, certain people pop. <laughs> And certain people don't. That's right. You know what I mean? Certain people shine. You and either got people, it or you ain't. Oh, you either got it or you haven't got it. You know what I'm it. saying, um, Keezy? So, you uh, know, whilst I lost a lot of money on the deal, yep. um, you know, I could see why they made that decision. Was there, is there anything he can do better for next time? Oh, look, there's all you, we can always be better, Adam. But yeah, I just, yeah. actually, just on that front, I was actually wondering, do you have representation? Do you no. have an age? You don't. No. Okay. Because we're sort of thinking, and, you know, Jace, I'm trying to build up your business as well. I think that Adam would make a great addition to your books. Uh, yeah. And, and, and Keezy, he's sort of in and out quite a lot here on the big show, man. He goes away for holidays. He goes away. Well, he, goes, he goes down to Tauranga because his father builds his truck for him. Okay, he's got we don't a truck. Need to get into that. He does all that for him. So it would be great. Well, I think you'd be incredible on radio as well. Thank you. you uh, but I, I don't really want to do it again to the bar. Oh, oh, no, no, no he's fine. No, he's, oh, we're, we're no, Keezy's don't worry good. About okay. yeah, Keezy's yeah, yeah, done yeah. and dusted on that front, so it's it's all good. Well, it's, um, well that's really interesting yep. because, as I say, I think you've got some real potential. Thank you. Um, I, I, and I am lacking in terms of, of my clientele, yeah. sporting personalities. Absolutely. Well, I, uh, and as yeah, I say, yeah, yeah. You're, sensational, you're sensational on the camera. So would you be okay, mate, if I gave you a call maybe tomorrow we had a little bit of a chit-chat? Yeah, that would be great, even right. just after here. If you're oh, not fair, we can do it after that. Do it straight away. No, we've got to show you killing the deal man yeah. shush but, you know because I know that um, that Mike's interested as well but he kindly said look I've got oh, a few right. on my box already oh that's great well let's awesome. have a chat after yep. this and we'll see where we go from Sounds there good. All right. good, good result you, Keezy you yeah. happy with uh, that man just one quick thing um, the Warriors are going to be live on Sky Sport 4 9.30 this Saturday and Sky Sport 9 with uh, the ACC coverage and there will be on Sky Open uh, there will be delayed coverage of the match midnight Sunday So good on you mate yeah Thanks for coming in, Adam. Yeah, it's good, man. Glad we buried the hatchet. Yeah, awesome. totally, it's good. No hard feelings here. Actually, I might have to drop Keezy off my books to get you to fit you in, actually. actually oh, I'm going to drop you in a second, Adam. Jace. <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Yes, indeed, Nirvana there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Tuesday afternoon. The time is nine minutes to five o'clock now. The uh, magic around fellas and Brizzy. Yeah. Uh, we're all going to be there. And we want people to come along with us, don't we, fellas? We certainly do. Uh, if you don't know what Magic Round is, it is a glorious round in mid-May in the NRL where 16 of the 17 teams battle it out. All eight games are at Suncorp Stadium. It is rugby league heaven, and yes, the Warriors are playing. Our mates at boystrip.co.nz have put together a package deal, including flights, hotel tickets, transfers. You call us on 0800 Hodak, you get yourself in the draw, and you and a mate could be joining us because we four, Keezy, Mogi. Hoity J and Pugs are all going along yes, as well. So yeah. good. Looking forward to that. Never been to Brizzy. It's going to be a good time. Robbie, you mad bastard. How's life? Good yeah, boys. How's things? Yeah, good. Thanks, mate. Good, good. Obviously, you love your rugby league, Robbie. Yeah, I love it, mate. Yeah, all about it. Yeah, good on good you, stuff. mate. Good on it. Uh, now, listen, uh, who are you going to take with you if you win? I'd actually, I'd actually be really keen to take the old man. Um, oh. all over it. He's, he's good fun and, um, yeah, a bit of a bucket list thing for both of us. A bucketless Back buck bone. league. Yeah. Hey, Pugsan, can you put a little tick by Robbie, please? Thanks, mate. Two ticks, Pugsan. Uh, two pigs. Uh, two pigs. Two, two pugs. Can you put two, two pigs, pigs next to Robbie? All right, two, thanks, yeah, Tugs. Thanks. Hey, good on you, Robbie. You're in the jo- uh, draw, mate. Good You're luck. in the jaw. Hey, Brad, you mad bastard. How's life? <laughs> Afternoon, lady. Good. How good. you going, you yeah. sicko? Good on you, mate. Oh, good now, mate. Oh, the working day's done. Oh, you yeah. boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you do for a crust, Brad? I'm a builder. Oh, oh backbone. 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 Just backbone. Yeah. Um, who would you bring with you, Brad? Well, this is going to be controversial, but I, I've been doing a Warriors podcast for six years, so I'd have to take my co-host, Will. Oh, oh. bro. This Warriors life. Yes, brother. Oh, yeah. How yeah. are you, man? Oh, well, there I was you listening go. to your podcast the other day, and I heard you talking about sitting with the backbones at the Christchurch game, and I thought to myself, is old buddy Brad here? Is he a big show fan? Oh, I'm just pinching a bit of product, boys. Good on you, yeah, mate. Good on you. Stay, stay, stay there. I'll talk it. to you after this break, brother. Yeah, good on you. Actually, um, Pugs, can you put a couple of crosses by Brad, please? <laughs> um, uh, Matt, you mad bastard. How's life? It's going good, mate. How are you? Yeah, good. What do you do for a crust, Matt? Uh, floor layer. Oh, oh, backbone. 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 Hey, Matt, do you love your buckle leg? I love it. Yeah, yeah okay. Nice, nice. You, Who mate. are you going to take with you, mate? I might have to take the boss. Yep, okay. My wife. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice. No, that's good. I like that. I like that, Matt. Will you stay on the line as well, mate? You're in the draw. Is that us for today, what? fellas? No, nah, one more. Let's oh. see how we're going. Here we go. Hodaki, who are we speaking to? Vicky. G'day, oh. Vicky. How's G'day, life? Vicky. Yeah, pretty good, guys. How about yourself? Yeah, yeah good, good. Thanks, mate. Good. Uh, what did you think of the Warriors game the other day? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Who would you take with you, Vicky, if you won the prize? Oh, it'd have to be my partner who's been a Warriors fan since day one. Oh, oh yeah, it's a day yeah. one, yeah. right? Just Warriors like Woody, Joe. Just like me. Just like me too, Vicky. Well, I tell you what, you're in the draw. Um, stay on the line and Pug Sam will sort you out, all right? Awesome, thank you. Thanks, mate. Awesome. And Pugs, don't forget to stick a couple of pigs next to that first caller, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Put them in the jaw, Pugs. Put them in the jaw. <laughs> Casey. <laughs> The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Kaiser Chiefs there on the radio, Hodaki Big Show this Tuesday afternoon. Now, plenty going on after five o'clock, including a major announcement from me, yeah. Woody J. Also some Oscar chat. Uh, and your chance to win a Hokoki uh, power tool with the sharpest tool in the shed. All oh. that after five o'clock. <laughs> Hodaki Big Show podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Welcome back, you massive backbones. You're listening to The Big Show, brought to you by night and day. Uh, speaking of the cricket, actually, Mogi, I'm still recovering from that. Uh, did you manage to catch any of it? Uh, nowhere near as much as I wanted to. Sure. I was working all weekend, all day yesterday. And in fact, I got on the plane yesterday um, to head back to Auckland um, from Los Angeles there. And when I got what? on the plane... They were. They had forty runs to get the Australians and were seven down. Yeah, yeah. There was a bit of hope at that point, you know. Two quick wickets, to douche, to douche, but it just didn't work out. Um, so I'm, I'm yeah. kind of depressed about that. Just quickly, were you in L? I didn't realize you were in LA. I thought you were just down in Wellington. Well, the thing about it is, Casey, man, do you ever ask a brother what he's doing, man? No, I just you don't do. Because sometimes I'll ask, I and you'll be like, "Oh, Casey, keep that massive beak out of my business." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so but I just, sometimes I don't say that. Yeah, okay. So okay. what were you up to? Um, I was hosting the Academy Awards. Well, a host, a, a guest host for one of the awards. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Right. Did you not know that, Casey? Well, we weren't really watching it because the cricket was on. Yes. No, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Well, I wasn't really watching it because the cricket was on. Right. So I was over there watching the cricket. And I knew when uh, Mogi was on, so that's why I wasn't watching it until he was on. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Because wow. I knew oh, when yeah. he was going to be on for well, the we, one thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll have to get into that. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, we'll dig into that a little bit deeper. Um, remember, you can text us on 3483. Hey, and send us a talk back. If you've got an iHeartRadio app, there's a little microphone there. You can send us a message directly to the studio. Or do it old school and give us a call on 0800 Hodaki. Just on the talkbacks, though, um, it's still happening. Can people please stop using the iHeartRadio app to send us a talkback and farting in the middle of it? Yeah. Because we'll put it on the air. There'll be a fart. We look stupid. We get in trouble with the bosses. We don't want that to happen, That's right? true. So none of that, please. Okay. In the meantime, let's have some tunes. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Turn it up. Head like a hole. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Radio head there on the uh, Radio Hodaki Big Show this Tuesday evening. The time is 5.26. For those of you that care, now I've uh, I've got some big news. Oh breaking news? Yes, breaking news, Keith. This is breaking news. Can I just say before you get into this, just every time I hear that breaking news thing, the hairs yeah. on the back of my ass stand on end. You're pointing at your neck. Yeah. Huh? Now, uh, the listeners out there may and or may not be aware of the fact that there's the, uh, a big social cricket match happening this Friday, uh, the Dulux Tradies 11 match. Taking the, on. Day, the day a nation stops. Indeed, my friend, which I've been playing now for four or five years. Well, you've been there. I don't know how much playing you've been uh, doing. And, and taking it by storm, I think it's fair for to say. For the ACC 11, Playing right? for the ACC 11, yes. Uh, and we still have continuously defeated despite my heroics but I have some sad news oh no because of my old mallet finger I've been instructed that playing a game of cricket with the mallet finger is a very stupid idea because if I get another blow to it small medium and or large you might as well chop the bastard off because she's poked and can I just say I really admire you, Jace, because you are like the backbone you are. Ignoring doctor's orders and you will play on. Oh, good on you, mate. 
So I'm obeying my doctor's orders. Oh. And with that in mind, I want to put something on the on the studio floor, oh. if I might, Mr. Speaker. I would like to nominate, in the wake of my loss, the one and only, the very talented man, very talented cricketer, Moogie. Yeah, man. Congratulations, Moogie. I'm, Thanks, I'm handing mate. over the cricket bat, as it were, to you. I appreciate that, man. Holy hell, what a... Uh... What an honour, man. What an honour. This is breaking news. I've got some breaking news as well. Oh, OK. Can you play the breaking news? Well, I literally Keezy? just played it. This is breaking news. Um, I can't play. Oh. I can't play because I'm blind in one eye. Um, my left eye there and I've got flat feet. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um... I uh, don't want to. Okay. Uh, but I have got some breaking news. This is breaking news. Keezy, brother, you're going to have to step in for the big show. The big show represents. Right, but I've never played cricket before in my life. <laughs> well, I wouldn't let that stop you, man. You saw me play last year. Yeah. Did it look like I'd ever played nah. before? Nah. And, right. don't, and don't be intimidated by how I play, Keezy, because I've been playing it for years. Well, mate. this is the thing. How, like, because what are the team? What's the team going to do without Jace's like six runs? Mm. Well, so, to be fair, Jace, what's your top score? Fourteen. Fourteen in five years. Yes. Uh, but also, uh, that's a total. You don't dismiss. <laughs> don't dismiss the amount of wickets I get. I've actually got seven wickets over those five games. Right. All right, actually, fellas, I've got some breaking news. Do you mind? Yeah, sure, man. This is breaking news. Yeah, okay, screw it. I'll do it. Yeah, good stuff, Keezy. Good on you, mate. I need to stress, though, it's this Friday, right? Yes. We're going out to Tauranga doing the show from down there. I've never faced a full-speed ball in my life, other than the, at the batting machine, the yeah, bowling machine. At that's Park. how much yeah. experience I'd had when I went in last year, and you right. saw how well I did. So she's all good, Keezy. I uh, think you're going to do us proud, brother. And let me assure you, <laughs> There's no real pace out there, Kinsey. Right. So the issue you'll have is how slowly it arrives. Is that why? Anything else. Is that why you never really got past? Yeah, because I'm used to high level attacks. These guys are just your donkeys, really. <laughs> right. You actually. know, you. Yeah. I'm excited, man. I'm excited yeah. to see how you go. Yeah, 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 you'll be great. You look great in whites too, Kinsey. <laughs> Thanks. Actually, I've got some more breaking news. Is that all good? Yeah. Okay. Man. This is breaking news. Uh, up next. Sharp is still in the shed. Your chance to win a Hakoki power tool thanks to placemakers. Whoa. Good stuff. Yeah. So uh, if you'd like to play that, give us a call now on 0800 Hodaki. Good stuff. The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. <laughs> Pearl Jam there on the Radio Hodaki Big Show this Tuesday afternoon. Hey, uh, hey fellas, do you love giving free stuff away? Yeah, I think so. Did you just... Did you just rip one out then, Mogi? No, I said, oh, oh but, okay, but no. because my microphone hadn't been turned on, it sounded like a whiner. Yeah, it, <laughs> it sounded like a release. Now, uh, <laughs> it's time to play the sharpest tool in the shed. Basically how it works is we name 10 tools. You have to name at least five of them in 10 seconds. Pretty simple, eh, fellas? That's right, and if you can do it, you can win yourself a Hikoki power tool. Thanks to our mates at Placemakers. Their monster tool sale is on right now. It's back. It's bigger than ever. Head into your local store or jump online and get the uh, best prices on the best tools and win some prizes too. Great stuff, Keezy. Uh, Finn, you mad bastard. How's life? Oh, not too bad, you three-munted fellas. <laughs> <laughs> it's just two-munted fellas. Well, thank uh, you, Finn. Excuse me, Finn? Did you no, just say think... three munted phalluses? Yeah, well, yeah. Okay, we, we go bumper to bumper sometimes, don't we, Jace? Yeah, we do. We do. It's quite a sight, Finn. Now, <laughs> Finn, what do you do for an occupation, mate, for a crust? Huh. Yeah, I'm a stonemason. Oh, oh backbone. Backbone. So backbone! So you, you love your tools, you. then? You love your tools? Shit, yeah. Oh, Spe- shit, yeah. Especially chisels, eh, Finn? Yeah, mate. Chisels and hammers and all yeah. that carry on. God, that's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. God, a bit of stone masonry. Masonry, yeah. Masonry. <laughs> all right, uh, Sorry, Finn, Jace. you know how it goes, mate. You know how it goes, right? We name ten tools. you just got to name five in ten seconds, all right? You ready? Beautiful. All right. Here we go, go, mate. Lathe. Mogi wrench. Hand-operated woody crank. Screwdriver. Hoyt glue gun. Digit blaster. Tool belt. Keezy tweezers. Shaft slide. Hole punch. All right, Finn, time starts now. 
Oh, shoot. Uh, hole punch, lay, bogey wrench. Uh, surely a chisel was in there. Yeah. Surely a hammer was in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that was five tools. I mean, I'm impressed. I've got to be. I've got to be honest with you, Finn. That was an absolute bloody shambles. <laughs> it was. It was a shit show. Uh, I think you were just making stuff up, but you know, fair enough. Fair enough. I have no issue with that. Uh, Pugs, we all every day. Pugs yes. just gave me the big thumbs down. He think. I think he wants us to go to another listener, James. Oh, well, yeah, but let's just be honest about Pugs on at the moment. He's in a horror of a mood. <laughs> so, right. so, standard so, Pugs on. Standard yeah. Pugs on. Come on, he Pugs. Told me earlier, he wanted. It. He wanted it. Right, all right. No, Pugs is saying no. We have to go to another caller. Oh! Sorry, Jace. That's rough. Rowan, you there, mate? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. G'day, mate. You ready to play the old tool, sharpest tool in the shed? Yeah, I'll give it my best. All right, so we're going to run through the tools again. You've got 10 seconds. Well, we're seconds. going to run through. It should be different tools. Oh, all right, don't, don't, don't do that to me. You ready? <laughs> you ready? Three, yep. two, one, go. Lathe. Mogi wrench. BB dilly. Screwdriver. Hoyt glue gun. Stiffy rod. Tool belt. Keezy tweezers. Turd stirrer. All right, you're Hole up. punch. You're up now, uh, Rowan. Good luck, mate. Okay, lathe, Hoyt glue gun, screwdriver, Keezy tweezers, ho- uh, bla- hole punch. Yep. And, uh, oh! <laughs> no, he said one. He said one just then. Oh, no, punch, you want to get rid of him? That was after. What if the last do? guy didn't get it, then that guy can't get it. But we've got to make a decision quick because we're killing people here with this. God, what's gone into you dudes today? Unreal. Pug son. Louis, you mad bastard. How's life? Yeah, not too bad. The two backbones and Keezy. Yeah, yeah mate. good on you, mate. All right, you're ready to go, Louis. Let's just get straight into it. You ready, Louis? I'm ready. <laughs> Lathe. Mogi wrench. Anus press. Screwdriver. Hoyt glue gun. Scroke clamp. Tool, tool belt. <laughs> Keezy tweezers. Durry crusher. Hole punch. All right, you're up now, Louis. Go. Hit us. Hole punch, tool belt, lathe, mogi wrench, uh, anus press. Hey! <laughs> well done, Louis, you massive <laughs> backbone. What, what do you do for a crust, incidentally? I'm a researcher. Oh, okay. Oh. Backbone. What well, are you re- researching, man? It's none of your business, I'm, mate. <laughs> I'm researching what he's researching. Yeah, what do you research, Louis? Uh, environmental stuff. Oh, oh good idea. Uh, yeah, good idea. Backbone. backbone. What's Louis won there, Keezy? Uh, is Louis, it an anus press? It isn't an anus press. Unfortunately, we're fresh oh. out. Uh, you have won yourself a Hikoki cordless orbital sander, my friend. Oh, oh excellent. Yeah, so I mean, good. Did you take that anus press home yourself, Keezy? <laughs> All right, actually, Louis, I've decided we're going to go with another winner, actually. That's great stuff. I could use an orbital sander at the moment with the house painting that Good I'm doing. You. Yeah, Louis won that, unfortunately. Has we got a spare one around or something that I can nah. have? Sorry, man. Oh. Here's a tune, though. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. You two there on the Radio Hodaki Big Show this Tuesday afternoon. Now, fellas, uh, after six o'clock, of course, uh, what's for tea with me? You see... Uh, and of course, uh, can you cut it out? Please? That's not right, the name of the scene. What's on the TV uh, with oh, maybe. Um, I got a confession to make. Oh, I knew it. I'm disgusted with myself. Oh. and I've realised I got a problem. Oh, you got a few. Finally, you're, you're addressing few. it. Now, you you guys will be very well aware of my cheese ball addiction, which I've managed to shake, incidentally. Mm. Have I've you shaken it, or have you just latched onto something else? Well, that's what I'm wondering, because last night I disgraced myself, I disgraced my family, and everyone that knows me. I, I don't know if you guys have ever tasted Jaffa chocolate thins. Oh, Jaffa at the Bickies, yeah, yeah they're the yummy. Bi- the biscuits? Yeah. I ate a whole packet, Mogi. Mm. And the thing about them is they're, like, really delicate... And so you don't feel like you're just stuffing your gob with lots of chocolate and stuff. They're quite delicate and refined, but they taste beautiful. And delicate ate, and refined, are they? I ate the whole packet. Yeah, good on you. Well, is it part of that con that's been going on by the biscuit company where there used to be 15 of them in there, but now there's only oh, shrink 12? Inflation. No, well, this is the thing about the fins. They've got about 30 in there. They're oh, all yeah. stacked um, in a line, eh? Yeah, and I literally just went, da-douche, 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 and I can't stopping now. Dadoosh, 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 dadoosh. But that's what you do here. I mean, I don't. This is what you do. Yeah, but you I do it here with I, a bag, an entire bag of any kind of chips you can name. You do it here with everything. It's, yeah, but it's not disgraceful. With, not with, not with Bickies, Mogie. Generally, oh, okay. I can have two or three Bickies. Oh, what about the brownie you always eat? 
Yeah, but that's, eat, no, you I mean, love that, eating that brownie. That's just one br- slice of brownie. Brunch. That's okay. I mean, I ate brownie. an entire packet of Jaffa chocolate fins. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm sorry, and I'm, I'll, it won't I, happen again. It's I. I well, I kind of want. That's to where you let me end. down is when you tell me that it's not going to happen again. It will happen again. There is no way I'm buying Jaffa chocolate fins again. I'm done with it. I've hit rock Jeez, bottom. I've are. hit rock bottom with it. I'm not going there. You're going to stop and get some on the way home. God damn, you're a backbone. <sighs> Okay, I just well, wanted to get that off my chest, oh, fellas. Thanks, Jace. We appreciate it. Um, but yes, a reminder after six o'clock, what's for Teen New Zealand with me, Keezy? Text her on 3483. Text her on 3483 right now what you are having for dinner. Say who you are, where you're texting from, and you could go on the draw to win. Uh, we've got a whole stack of $50 night and day vouchers, so you may as well get amongst. Actually, can I grab one of those pugs, son? No, he's going to use it for Bickies. <laughs> The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Welcome back, you massive backbones. You're listening to The Big Show, brought to you by night and uh, day. Uh, the podcast outro, does, do one of you two losers want to talk about that I'll tell today? you what, man, the thing I love about the podcast outro is it's, it's a podcast. It's got us presenting it, I guess you could say, on more of an equal basis, if anything, because there's not so much admin to do, so it's just just having a yarn about this, that and the tother. And no ad breaks and oh, stuff. Oh, there's no ad breaks, there's no music in there, it's just gold from start to finish. Yeah. And today we were sort of, uh, we are sitting in the ACC studio having a yarn there, so it's a very relaxed chat, and it makes for a different kind of a yarn than it traditionally does, even for that podcast, I would say. Yes, it did, actually. Uh, there was quite a lot of pharmaceutical chat today. Yeah, there was, but it started probably the first three minutes, quite R18 chat. Was it? Was yeah. it? There was a lot of chat about, you know, your downstairs and whether was you've there? dealt with certain downstairs issues oh, in impotence. the past. Yeah, impotence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, 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 I don't want to give it away. Well, that's mean, not filth. Yeah. The impotence is a um, an eliminator of filth, Keezy. No, I know, but you... So didn't... not having any blood being pumped, it just means that there is no filth to be had. No, I know. So that's not filth. It started out, you used the word impotence, and then you started using other terms for it, which were just a bit more R18. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't yeah, yeah. remember that. But that then it got into, right to me. got into pharmaceutical chat... And then eventually dog chat. Do you like to hear a clip of the dog chat, fellas? Yeah, I, I vaguely remember some dog chat. I do. All right, here it is. Just last night, I effed and jeffed like you wouldn't believe because <laughs> there was a backfire of a car. And, and it, like, comes right out of the blue. I love it so much because there is an explosion. The dog is going, for f- sake, what the f- was that? Which is making you then yeah, go, yeah, for, for f- Sake. Sake. And then, and, your, yeah, and then your wife and kid are just going oh, after. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> very accurate, very accurate description. Okay. A couple That's of highly ex- strung yes. old dogs in yeah. the house. <laughs> totally right, man. Totally right. That's exactly what it is. Hey, up oh, next, fellas. But just on the dog what? front, Keezy's family have agreed to take Rue down on their orchard. Yeah. So I'm going to maybe drop her there. Oh, when man, we go got down a shoddy, on, eh? Yeah, down, uh, down there on Friday. Yep, no, I'm, seriously, she'd be more than welcome and she would get on really well with their tired old dog as well, Ava. They'd get on like a house on fire. I, 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 I hope this happens. Yeah, I'd probably give her another lease of life, Keezy, because she's got plenty of energy, old Rue. Can yeah. you imagine that dog on a farm? It she, would be an amazing way to close she, out her days. She is a farm dog. Yeah. yeah. She's never been on a farm in her life. She's a farm dog. She could round up plenty of um, avocado trees for us. Well, remember, one of her legs is a bit gammy. Yeah, it's getting, oh, really? Yeah, it's, still, it's not bad, bad, though. Okay. Is it good, so, bad? Is she trots around normally. Trots? Isn't yeah, she a yeah. dog? She's got the trots. Well, she sometimes depends how anxious she is. <laughs> Hey, uh, send through your texts on 3483 <laughs> regarding what's for tea New Zealand with me, Keezy. Because uh, otherwise Keezy looks a fool if he's got nothing to read off. <laughs> there are hundreds of texts, Jace. I'll be fine. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Silver chair there on the radio. Hodaki uh, Big Show this Tuesday evening. Now, Pugsan just reminded me a new video has dropped on our Instagram account. So uh, go and check that out. I believe... It's a massive balls up made by uh, Keezy live on air. It, it was, yeah. It was to do with me and name that tool, accidentally naming the tool. So, uh, Hodaki Big Show, give it a search, head along to the page there. Yeah, good stuff. In the meantime, it's time for this. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. Text here from Steve. <laughs> What's, What's for tea, tea New, New Zealand? Zealand? With me, Keezy. <laughs> Such a good segment, guys. People love it. Uh, it's raiding through the roof. I know one thing, and that is that 
Mogi is starving. Yeah. And he is hoping that there's something delicious at home. Yeah. Because uh, he, he gets very hangry. Did you what? notice that, Keezy? Oh, it's very hangry. Definitely. So what do you think is at home? Don't know. I've, Jay- got, a, I've got an interesting scenario at my house because I just contacted my wife, especially for this segment, Keezy. Right. And she said, our daughter's cooking dinner. Oh. Wow, okay. What's she making? Don't know. A mess. Pro- oh, yeah, definitely a mess. Yeah. There'll be a mess. Don't you worry it about that. It might be that. yummy, though. That's a nice thing for her to do. Yeah, well, she's doing do. food technology at school, you see. Right. So, Why do know. they call it that, by the way? I don't know. It's a stupid bloody well, name. Well, interestingly, it's not like the old home ec, uh, Mogi. It's more... Um, Can you tell me why they used to call it home economics? F- yeah, f- it's more sort of theory-based <laughs> rather than practical-based. Right. It's more to do with food science. To be sure, yes. you should learn what foods you should eat. And, you know, because I came out of uh, high school like a massive idiot as soon as I went to oh, flatting. Yeah, I couldn't yeah, do anything. I reckon. All I could make was spag bowl. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Am I right there, fellas? And what hey. about budgeting? Do they teach you about budgeting and finances at school? No, they don't. I was no, a massive no, no, idiot. Oh, You've you got to like what they teach you at school. But Keezy, yeah, yeah. Bu- Keezy budgets now, Muggy. He's got his fun account and oh, stuff. Oh, he does, yeah. Remember? 800 bucks a week. 172, actually. Thank you very much. Jesus, uh, heaps. That That's is a lot heaps. of money, man. Yeah, it is heaps. Um, Are you going to spend some of that fun account on Pugs tonight when you take him to the movies? Well, yeah, I was going to shout him dinner for his birthday last week. Oh, yeah, nice. But you've ruined that now, so cheers. Uh, (laughs) Lots lots of texts coming through on 3483. G'day, guys. It's Thai Tuesday. A wee pad Thai and a Penang curry. Cheers. And that's from (laughs) Terrence. I tell you what, I had a uh, bit of a treat when I was in Los Angeles down there in Wellington over the weekend. And uh, KK Malay. I went there twice. Beautiful. Thai? I, I, uh, well, it's Malaysian. Oh, right. KK <laughs> Malay. Clue was in the name there. Right, and, okay. uh, one of the nights I had a chicken pad Thai. Would that be right? No. Uh, no, a Malaysian. It would have been a laksa or something. Me, uh, oh. Curry chicken? Hmm. Their curry chicken's amazing. But it was I've obviously come, very I've good. I've come and swing in there and I've got nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll update you tomorrow night. I'll pretend that's what I have for dinner and tonight, can just, okay? Can I just make the point? It's quite interesting. I'm assuming this is a home meal to have two different curries going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chicken roti chanai. Yeah, there Thank it is. Thank you. G'day, guys. For dinner tonight, fish pie with veggies and a shout-out to Carl Corbett and his wife from Ollie. Moab. It's probably where he got the fish from. What do you mean? Because he's making fish pie and he does a shout out and they maybe gave him the fish. So, like, give me some fish, I'll give you a shout out on the big show. How good. I like a fish pie. Get. <laughs> G'day, fellas. Jake here having tomato sauce sammies for dinner. Can't wait to devour oh, a few. Rich guy. Yeah, it's flash, rich guy. Man. Okay, good. Uh, what about this? Sausages and chips. That's Tom from Pram or most Pata 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 Uma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, can I just ask this? Because I don't do a lot of chips in my meals. Is that. Do you guys run chip no. action? Okay. I do chips with things that are meant to have chips with. For example, a homemade burger. Sure. Uh, E.g. something else. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, good examples, yes. actually. F- fish. Oh, if I've got some fish, for example. Yes. That would be a good example. Oh, yeah, fish yeah, and yeah. chips. <laughs> That's a great example. What are you having, Keezy? Tonight. Yes. Well, Pugs and I are going out. Oh, and we're that's gonna right. have oh, a yeah, look. God. What are you going to have, though? Yeah, but I just looked at all the restaurants in the food court there, and apparently they all close at 7. So that that's oh, not that's good for you, us. That's you stuffed. So that's a real pain in the ass. So we'll have to make up something as we go along. Mm-hmm. Um, the music stopped, so we should probably wrap things up there, fellas. Or do Ooh. you want another quick one? Quick one. All right. Give us a quickie. G'day, guys. Spicy pork mince for me tonight, probably followed by a small glass of port when my missus goes to bed. And then if I can get the glass to my mouth, that is without <laughs> nudging my massive honker cheers. It's from Matt and Topol. Oh, Good yeah. on you, Matt, your massive backbone. I love it. <laughs> Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Yes, indeed, Fat Boy Slim there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Tuesday evening, and right now it's time for What's on the Telly with Mike Minogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. Mogi, I don't know, guys. I don't know, man. Mogi. What have you watched? Nothing, man. I've been otherwise occupied. Okay. But you'll be proud to please to hear that I did watch the episode of Seinfeld last night. <laughs> and it's the one where, um, uh, what's her name there? Elaine, Elaine faked it. She faked oh, it with faking Jerry. It. Yeah, that was classic. It's a very, very good He's episode. He's like, just give me one more shot. That's so funny. Uh, Hoity J, what'd you watch, Ray? Um... <laughs> You mean faked an orgasm? Yeah. Right, okay. They just say faked it. I've heard, of, I've heard about that. You know what I mean? In terms of, you know, people talk Cra- about... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. talk about that. It's interesting, isn't it? 
uh, the whole idea of fa- I mean, I have in my time. Oh, yeah. yeah no, Kramer I mean? did as well. Yes. Kramer faked some as well. Yeah. That was his side so you are the Kramer of the oh, group. You're Kramer, I actually yeah. uh, watched a film called Inside with Willem Dafoe, and it was basically he plays a part Didn't of... Didn't you do this yesterday? No, we did it off air. Did we? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, he plays a part of, a art, of an art thief who breaks into a very famous uh, artist's apartment. Apartment. Uh, And it's filled with, you know, massively valuable art pieces. Sure. Hugely valuable art pieces. So he's getting all the paintings that he wants. He has the plan all under control. He puts the, you know, the code. He's talking to someone on his little intercom there and everything goes wrong. Right. And it shuts down. Oh, God. Um, And the alarms go off and blah, blah. And basically he's trapped in there. And he gets trapped in there for months. And it's basically (laughs) the the deterioration of him as a human being and his mental decline. And it's it's a really big ask for any actor... Except me. ...to hold the screen by themselves for that period of time. There's like very vague periphery characters that don't feature a lot. So it's just his performance. It's actually bloody good. And it was probably, in fairness, operating on levels that I wasn't quite tuning into on the sort of art front. Sure. Uh, because he's an artist himself. He is. Um, and so, yeah, I enjoyed it, actually. And there's this great scene where he's been pooing into this uh, pool that's been drained of water because he had to drink it because the taps turn off, the oh, heat, heating shit. goes up, and he just does all these poos in the pool. Great. And there's this great shot of them panning across the pool with a massive pile of poos. It was magnificent. Of course, Willem Dafoe, incredibly well hung, Keezy. But you wouldn't know that. No, I wouldn't. He's good in Spider-Man, though, as the Green Goblin. I swear goblin, we had right. this chat on air yesterday. No. Oh, it was definitely off air? Yeah, it was definitely off air. Yesterday we were talking about... June. June, yes. Which I, by the way, watched for a second time last night. Yes. The first one, because I'm going tonight oh. with Pugs to the second one. And so I have seen June 1 twice in three days. You like that? Amazing, yeah, yeah, and it is bloody good. On Sunday, myself and uh, my wife watched a film which also features uh, Svalsgard. Svalsgard, because uh, he plays the Baron in June. Uh, Goodwill Hunting. Ah, I'd never seen it. Yes. Stellan, Stellan Skarsgård. That's right. Yes, uh, the and, dad. And we no, he's the no, he's the uh, the professor. Yeah. No, I mean the dad of the Skarsgård boys. Oh, sure. Right. Yes. Yeah, 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 totally, yeah. yeah. Uh, and we got up to the scene where they're sitting at the park bench, and yeah. Robin Williams is like, "Do you know what I realised when you were having a go at my painting? Blah blah blah. You're just a kid and all this stuff. Yeah, this amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. monologue thing." And I looked over at my wife and she's I was like, pretty good, eh? And she's asleep. Yeah. So I've seen half of it. Up to that point, but I tell you what, pretty I'm good. Have a word with her Bloody good. That. You've not seen that before. Never ever. It's, great great, movie. it's a great movie. Great and movie. Matt Damon's um, great in it. Too. Uh, Matt Fantastic. Damon. That's awesome. I've got to say this, as I've said it before. I think Matt Damon's bloody great in pretty much everything he does. I agree. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm gonna have a word with your wife about falling asleep on you again, Keezy. She's not on me. She's near me though. The Hodaki Big Show weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Queens of the Stone Age there on the Radio Hodaki Big Show this Tuesday evening. Hey, Mogi, excited about the uh, comedy festival coming up? I'm fizzing, brother. Yeah, because you know now we were talking about it on the show yesterday. We're all doing a set now. Well, I know I've been asked to. Oh. I know I've, I know I've been told I'm doing it, yes. but nobody's asked me. Oh. So are you doing a set, Mogi? I don't think so. Okay, it's well, not high on my list. So it's going to be Keezy and Pugs uh, because we thought if we're all going to do this as a team, then Pugsan has to do comedy. As well, but hang on. If we're doing uh, this as a team, then you and Mike would have to do it. Oh, okay, I'll do it then. Cool. Will you do it, Mike? No, no, I'm not going to do it. It's, then. I'm not used to you not being keen to do something like this. I'm not keen. At all. Well, because you did it last year, I think, or the year before. Yeah, you, I, last you'll year. You'll kill. You'll kill, Mike. You'll oh, be fine. Yeah, yeah no, I'll slay. I'll yeah, slay. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But you don't want to do it. I'm not doing. It. I'm not doing it either. Then. So it's going to be well, Keezy. I'm not doing it. No, I'm not doing it. Oh, yeah, you're not good. doing it. That's no. good. It's oh, just pugs it. it feels like it should just be pugs. I'll do it. Yeah. Well, if, I mean, if, if Keezy's not doing it, I'll do yeah, it. Yeah, no, that was the sort of thing. Oh, well, I don't want to ruin the whole night for Keezy because well, we Jace killed before it. it. I've got a brilliant idea. What's that? Hoity J and Pugsan do a duo. And it's just him coming in in a hoor of a mood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, no, Pugsan had this great idea, Mogi, that his, he's going to play a, a Japanese character that comes in wearing a kimono um, and the full face paint. Oh. Uh, and I think, uh, I think that's a great idea. And I a don't comedy know, show, though? I don't, I don't know. know. It's, it sort of feels like it could be cultural appropriation, but that sounds like Pugs up and down. Who, Pugsan? He'd never do that. Yeah. Uh, but, hey, the comedy fest, man, I'm excited for it, 31st year of the New Zealand International Are you joking Festival. Are 31 years. Wow. And I'm 32. 
Oh, wow. I'm 47. Thanks, fellas. Yeah, okay, I'm, you're not sure. <laughs> so if you're keen for uh, tickets, you might want to jump in there quick because we've got uh, more than 150 local and international comics taking the stage, 24 venues, over 600 performances representing 25 countries, comedyfestival.co.nz or head to the gigs page at hodaki.co.nz because we are the proud presenting partners of this magnificent festival. Yeah, great stuff, Keezy. Good on you, mate. You still want to open? What? You going to open our gig? Nah. Okay, I'll open and close. <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Well, that's us uh, finished up for the night. I've packed up my little lunchbox there, ready to go home. Mogi, your plans for the evening? I'll probably go home and uh, uh, eat some food, put the kid to bed there. Um, sort of trip over all the mess that I've created for myself and, uh, and then try and get get into the sack at around about three minutes past seven. Nice, mate. Uh, Keezy, you're going to June tonight. What? No, I'm not. With Pakistan. Tomorrow night. What? Isn't it tonight? Nah, it is, yeah. Me yeah, and Pakistan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going to June too. Very excited. Going to have a dinner date as well. Um, so tomorrow we'll have a big review on the second part. Of that amazing uh, I, series. I don't want to review. I was going to do right. uh, do it with those fellas, Mogi, but then yeah. the time kept blowing out until like 8 and then 8.30. It's about a three-hour film, and I was like, Hoody Jay's is, too old for that. Question, I'm sorry, fellas. Is this a trilogy? It is. Okay, yes. great. And yeah, apparently yeah. the third book has got very little action in it, and it's a lot of chat, right. so there's going to be a bit of an issue there, but this is the one, apparently. Yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll do the, the third one with you and Pugsan and Mogi if he's keen. All right? Sounds good, mate. Yeah. What are you doing tonight, Jace? Uh, look, I'm uh, keeping it simple tonight. Go home, get on the treadmill for an hour or so, and uh, have some dinner. Play a game Do you of have Scrabble. to wear a sports bra on the trip? Uh, watch something for what's on the TV with Mike Minogue the following day and then go to bed. And toss and turn, probably <laughs> go up and do wheeze. Yeah. Wake up in the morning and make my wife a coffee. And then what? Pardon? And then what after that? Take my daughter to school yeah. after spending an hour trying to get her out of bed. And then? Uh, to the gym. Yeah. And then a meeting at 10. And then, oh, here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. And then the big show. I'll leave no, you to it, fellas. I've got to go. And, and then the podcast. We'll catch you later. And then yeah. the uh, BYC podcast. Oh, cool, yeah. Okay. Oh, and I've got an appointment at 12. Oh, yeah. So oh, what's she's that a busy for? day. Uh, well, it's just my oh, finger yeah. there, easy. Totally. You know, my mallet finger. It's, um, 